This is a DJBooth.net exclusive interview. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Z doing it real big. And joining me inside the DJ booth is a DJ who knew his career fate at the ripe young age of 12. Hailing from Santa Monica, California, please welcome the king of the decks, DJ Revolution. How you doing? What up, man? What's good? What's good? I was doing some research about DJ Revolution, and according to the My Story section of your website, your career unofficially began when your grandfather helped you set up two old turntables and a broke-down mixer. Now, that was when you were 12. So what would you say since then has been the official beginning of your career as a DJ? I mean, I probably couldn't pinpoint the official date, but Mm -hmm. it was probably around 15 or 16. I remember doing a lot of um, community halls, like project community halls and stuff like that in the projects and like homies house parties and stuff like that where they would kick me down like a hundred bucks or sometimes it would be free or, you know, whatever it was. But that was really when I started hustling. It was around 15 or 16. I I was doing mixtapes and and all of that. I really couldn't pinpoint exactly, but that's around the time when I was about 15 or 16. Was there a moment where you realized that this was such a love that you would never turn back or consider doing something different? Yeah, there was. I mean, it wasn't exactly a moment, but I mean, if I had to think back if there was one time, I remember it was when I got my first mixer. My first real mixer was a crossfader. (laughs) up, uh, Up until that point, I was using really shitty mixes, like Radio Shack style, and they all had like three or four lines, but they didn't have any faders. You know, I was trying to do all these scratches, like Transformer was coming out, and like Jazzy Jeff was just cutting shit up like crazy on this was like 87, 88. So I'm trying to mimic all these scratches, but I can't because the fader, there's no fader with a cutoff on it, you know? So mm-hmm. when I got my first mixer, and I was like, up until that point, I had no idea whether I was good or not. You know, I was like, because I couldn't really get it down. So when I got my first mixer, and I plugged it up, and as soon as I started cutting, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is it. I am good. I'm real good. Because I started doing all the cuts that Jazzy Jeff was doing and Cash Money was doing, and I, and I could do them all. And my friends were coming over to my house like, damn, yo, what happened to you, man? Like, you, you just turned into a monster overnight. Like, before you were you were good, but now you, you need to be making records or something, man. You're crazy. At that point, it was like, all right, I'm good enough to do this. You know, I'm good enough to really make, make this happen, and I'm not going to do anything else. So it was a mixer with a legitimate crossfader, and from there, the story just began to write itself. Yeah, pretty much, man. In my head, like, I knew I was good, but I needed proof to my own ears. Plus, I'm sure you'd work for and around your family all the time, but family's not the greatest litmus test in the world because no matter what you do, they're always going to say, oh, you're great, you're great, you're wonderful. Well, no, nah, you know, this was at a time when it wasn't cool to be a hip-hop DJ. You know, my family hated the fact that I did. The only person that was cool with it was my mom. Like, everybody in my family hated the fact that I was playing hip-hop, that I wanted to be a DJ. There was no money in it. No one, because rap hadn't even been a proven, you know, like a true genre of music yet. It was still young. It wasn't even like 20 years old. It was like 15 years old and it was brand new. It hadn't even, rap wasn't even going gold for their platinum. And, you know, there was barely any young TV raps on the air. It was, it was like brand new. So nobody knew what the fuck I was doing. You know, scratching records. What the hell is that, you know? Like, yeah. You know, my family had no clue. What are they saying now? Um, you know, they're all proud of my success and everything, but to me, at the end of the day, you got to look at it from my standpoint where it's like they were against me all the way, you know, until I started really making any money and having a career at it. They were against me all the way. So I just went straight through it with my middle finger up like, yo, fuck y'all. Y'all don't even know? Okay, cool, you know? And so now it's like when they tell me that they're proud and they send me letters and stuff, I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though it's my family, I'm just like, whatever. To check out the rest of this exclusive DJ Booth interview, as well as brand new songs, weekly charts, reviews, and much more, log on now, www.djbooth.net.